we apologize for not getting over your stutter and asking you about Bob Wiley's comments on national radio, but obviously he said that, you know, he and a bunch of assistants did heavy lifting and then became collateral damage. And he, he didn't hear from you that he wasn't going to be brought back. He had to hear from his daughter in the hospital bed. Did you want to respond to any of this? Well, I would say this. Um, I know Bob Wiley to be a good person. And out of respect for his family, I won't get into any of that because he's a father, he's a husband, he's a granddad, all right? But I would just say this about that whole situation. Bob knows what happened. Bob knows what was going on. And when he was here, he knew everything about it, you know? So, uh, you know, that was last year if you give everybody that, listen, Bob wasn't under contract. All right, he forgot to tell everybody that. He wasn't under contract. He had talked about retiring forever. All right. So uh, sometimes when a person says something, they have to be made to feel relevant. Okay. Bob's a good person, and I don't want to lose sight of that. I have too much respect for him as a person. What I would say though is, is what got lost in the shuffle is what really mattered and what we're doing right now. All right. And for whatever reason, it got lost in the shuffle. We just had 40,000 people at a stadium for a practice, all right, where all the proceeds went to the Get Start initiative that the Browns have done. So that got lost in the shuffle of all this stuff that happened last year, all right. Um, you know, the days of inside information and the days of, of uh, unnamed sources and stuff like that have ended. So you're not going to get any information like that ever, anybody. And if I ever see it, they're fired immediately. That's the way we're running this organization. And I can take it. John Dorsey can take it. We won't crack, I promise you. You made your point very clear about uh, Wiley's comments, but this is your first go around as a head coach. And when something like that pops up, when you hear something like that, how, how upset does that make you? Does that let a lot of slide out your back if you get angry about it? Or? You know, at, at the end of the day, um, no, I don't get angry. I kind of feel, um, you know, I know what happened. He knows what happened. The staff knows what happened. The, but here, here's, here's the thing that gets lost in the shuffle with all that. It's kind of a microcosm that we're worried about. I've never wanted any uh, appreciation. I've never asked for any tooting of my horn or anything like that. But we seem to ask for it. But what about the players? What did the players do? Did they have anything to do with the turnaround? Because I really truly feel that this game is about the players. It's not about me. It's not about Bob. It's not about the staff. We are in, our job is to get them ready to play. It's about them. But when do they get their credit? Because they had to make a conscious decision to turn it around, and they did that. So I would say that about the comments. It's, it's, it, it doesn't matter. Bob doesn't wear brown and orange anymore, all right? I had the opportunity to hire Bob. I didn't want to. I went to the hospital to see Bob. Every week he was in the hospital, all right? I FaceTimed Bob before every game, before we went out as a staff, just so he would continue to feel a part of it. So at what point does Bob realize that it was the players and not the coaches? You said John Dorsey's not gonna crack. You're not gonna crack. You guys can handle this kind of stuff. In, in you being a head coach now, how important do you feel that that is? How, how much of your job is that, that stuff like this is gonna pop up or making sure that the staff has continuity and is together? Like, with off field stuff, how important is that to you in being the Browns head coach and keeping that straight? It, it, does, it doesn't, the only reason it was important to me is because, um, I'm not gonna lie to you, it wasn't important at all to me. It's the fact that he didn't, uh, the players are the one turning this around. I don't care what he says about me. I can take it. But the players turned it around. Those guys that he coached gave up five sacks last eight games of the year. That's it. Bob did a hell of a job. Okay? Uh, you know, whatever, whoever you want to give the credit to, whoever wants the credit can get it. But I know this. I know where the credit needs to be. It needs to be on the players because they made a decision to do it. Not Bob, not me, not anybody. Bob didn't go out and play a down. The players did.